Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at what is meant by conditional probability. When you say conditional probability of an event, what do you mean? Okay, viewers, the conditional probability of an event A given an event B which is denoted as this is equal to probability of A intersection B over probability of B again the conditional probability of an event A given an event B which is denoted as this is equal to the probability of A and B over probability of B for probability of B greater than zero. So similarly, the conditional probability of event B given an event A which is denoted as this is equal to probability of B and A over probability of A. Now, viewers, let me explain to you. So, the probability of event A, given that event B has already happened. For example, the probability that it will rain tonight, given that it rained yesterday. Is it? Is equal to probability of A and B over probability of what has already happened. This is it. So look at this one. This is the B. So the probability of the B. Now when you come here, the probability of B given A is equal to probability of B and A over probability of what has already happened. Are you seeing it? It's not equal at all. And don't forget this one. Probability of B and A is the same as probability of A and B. Yes, this is equal to this one. And probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B intersection A. I see. So this one for P of A greater than zero. I see. So this is conditional probability. And so if I say uh, probability of say M given N. Then you can just say P of M interaction N over P of N. What has already happened? For P of N greater than zero. It's not difficult at all. It's not difficult at all, viewers. Now let's look at questions. Let's look at questions. Question. You can say that if P of A is equal to 0 0.3, P of B is equal to 0 0.4, and uh, A and B are independent. Independent and A and B are independent. Find I probability of A given B. I I probability of B given A. I I I probability of A complement given B complement. Are you it? Yes. So viewers, let's look at the question. Let's try to solve it. So this is the probability of A, 0 0.3. This is the probability of B. And you are saying that A and B are independent. The two events are independent. Viewers, I have a video on introduction to probability. And in that video, I explain independent events. When you say that two events, A and B, are independent, what do you mean by that? Yes, let's have it here. Now, 
Two verse A and B are said to be independent if the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. Yes. So two events A and B are said to be independent if this holds. Yes. Okay. Now let's look at what they have been given. They have been asked to find I P of A given B. Do you see it? And P of A given B is equal to P of A intersection B. That is the probability of A and B over what has already happened, P of B. Are you it? So this is equal to, so this is equal to those two words. Now, let's look on the board. You see, we have been told that the three verses A and B are independent. If they are independent, then the probability of A and B can be written this way. So I can write this one as P of A times P of B because the three events are independent. So you have to take note of all this. All over P of B. Now, viewers, you can see that P probability of B can cancel probability of B. So you are going to have P of A. And P of A has been given to us to be 0.3. So this is 0.3. So you see that the probability of A given B is 0.3. Do you say it? Yes. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. I, I, the next one. So, if you have done this one, I can clean it and then look at the next one. So, let's move on to the next one. I, 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 I. That means I have to find the probability of B given A. So, the probability of B given A this is equal to probability of B and A. That is B version A. Over probability of what has already happened, which is A. This is probability of A. Now, don't forget probability of B intersection A is the same as probability of A intersection B. All over probability of A this way. And again, the three events A and B are independent. So it means that I can write uh, this for the whole of it. So it will be probability of A times probability of B. All over probability of A. And you guys, probability of A you can probability of A. So you only have probability of B. And this is equal to 0 0.4. Are you seeing it? So it's not equal at all. <laughs> then the last one. I, I, I. You have been asked to find probability of A complement given B complement. So this one straight away will be probability of A complement and B complement. This is that is probability of A complement that is a B complement. Over probability of B complement. What has already happened? Are you saying it? This is equal to so, because the three events are independent, then this you can you can write this one as P of A complement times P of B complement. I say all over P of B complement. P of B complement will cancel P of B complement. You're going to have P of A complement. Now, good, look on the board. The probability of A is 0.3. Now, those of you who have watched my video on introduction to probability. Probability of an event E. Probability of an event E plus probability of the event, the complement of the event is equal to 1. And we said that this means the probability of the complement of E of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of the event. So the probability of the event is equal to 1 minus the probability of this one. Right. So at every point in time, when you add the two, you have to get 1. That will give you the probability of A to be this. Then the probability of A complement 
So the one minus zero point three. Are you saying you can only add it? You have to get one, and this one will give us zero point seven. Are you saying? So if you ask, it is not difficult at all. This is what is meant by conditional probability. I believe that if I really understood all this, then conditional probability should not be a problem to you at all. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Jr.